What's up guys, it's Robert, you're watching Gen Style, and in today's video I'm gonna talk about a couple of YouTubers who are my personal favorites. We all enjoy looking at content, and so today I'm gonna to go over my favorite content creators. So first I have to say I've had the pleasure of meeting a couple of these guys at the Men Influential Conference, and that maybe does jade my opinion of why I like them is because I met them in person and they've all offered valuable information to help me grow my channel. And so maybe I'm a little biased, but I think that the guys on this list are fantastic. And then some of them uh, are just a few guys that I've been watching for years and I'd love to meet and work with them one day. And so that's why I'm including them as well. The first channel that I'm including on this list is He Spoke Style. Their founder, Brian Sakawa, started the channel back in 2013. And I've been watching for the last Past two years and they offer a wide variety of classic menswear style uh, content with a kind of modern flair to it. I really think he does a great job of putting together lookbooks especially uh, and those do draw inspiration for my own personal wardrobe and the things that I decide to buy. Brian has a great way of presenting information and I think his channel is super amazing and I'd love to eventually work with him one day on some sort of content. Next up on my list, this guy's been doing videos for about five years now and I just found out about him last year. His name is Kirby Allison. Kirby Allison is one of my favorite YouTubers because he shows you a lot of the behind the scenes of what it looks like when you go to get a bespoke suit or a uh, him or Johnny suit, which is a really nice brand. Uh, he goes over a bunch of different shoes like John Lobb, um, Alan Edmonds. He just talks about Carmina. He just talks about a variety of high quality products that are very expensive. And even though I can't afford them and they aren't products that I think my audience is that uh, interested in spending that much money on, it's still very entertaining to see how Kirby puts together his videos. Kirby Allison's channel really lives up to the moniker of quality craftsmanship and tradition. Number three on the list in this channel is one where if I see a video pop up from his, I will stop whatever I'm doing and watch it instantly. It's that good and that guy is Vladimir Roche. I feel like me and Vladimir have a lot in common because Vladimir, like myself, didn't really care about style at one point and then started dressing a little bit nicer and uh, thought we were doing it right, but we weren't exactly doing it the right way. And so over time, my style has evolved, his style has evolved. And again, it's just really nice to see another uh, African-American male on YouTube thriving and succeeding making these videos. Vladimir's style is very classic. It's very traditional and I think it's great. He dresses very nice. Uh, oftentimes he recommends Spear McKay, which is a brand that I discovered through him and I think it's a fantastic brand. Check out Vladimir's channel. I'll have all these channels linked below, but he is probably on this list one of my personal favorites. I've also gotten to interact with Vladimir through YouTube and through DMs on Instagram. He's a great guy. Um, he's very personable. A lot of these guys that you meet that do these YouTube videos, they have kind of egos and he's not one of them. So I highly recommend Vladimir's channel in his videos and I love to collaborate with them one day. So Vladimir, if you're watching, let's make some sort of video. Number four on the list, the guy that started it all for me, that is Aaron Marino, Alpha M. Uh, again, he's a great guy, been doing videos for uh, a very long time. He's been around since 2008 and I thoroughly enjoy his content. He puts out a lot of stuff that is very funny. He's got thousands of videos and he really is kind of the base point. He is the, um, the base that all of the other guys that I feel that I watch, me included, that we look up to. He's built a massive audience by giving out men's style tips over the years and he's been around for like 12 years and so I really enjoy him. I started watching him my freshman year high school and I've been watching him ever since. Also earlier this year, I got to meet Aaron at his conference, Men Influential in Atlanta. And I gotta say, for a guy that's that successful, he is so personable. Uh, when I was talking to him, he was giving me valuable information, valuable tips that I'm using for my channel right now. And you wouldn't expect that out of someone who is of his stature, but he's just like a normal person. He's like about my height. He's just a really nice guy and I really recommend his content. The next channel that I absolutely love, and I did meet him at Minfluential, John Shanahan, uh, I believe I pronounced his last name right. John, I apologize if I didn't, but he is the founder of The Cavalier, which is a men's style channel that brings you a bunch of different reviews, a bunch of product reviews on uh, stuff that he buys and then he goes over it and lets you know what he thinks about it. And I have to say that a lot of videos that John has done have influenced the shape of my wardrobe because stuff that he recommends is oftentimes things that I've heard about and that I want to try myself. And so going to watch his videos on his channel is a great basis point for the things I decide to buy. Also, it seems like I'm talking a lot about guys that I met in person at Men Influential, and I have to say, 
it was a great conference. And so the next guy on the list is Ian Riley from Fit Man Style. I ran into Ian's channel about two years ago. I was looking at different reviews and I came across his Luxire review. And Ian's videos were very well put together. They were very nice. And I love that he uh, makes videos specifically towards the fit man. And so when I ran into him at Menfluential, it was really cool to meet him because I'd been watching some of his content before I went there and I didn't know he was gonna be there. So it was just nice to meet him. Very nice guy, very personable. And over the last couple of months, we did an Instagram collaboration with a bunch of other guys uh, in the men's style community. We also put together a video for my channel on, uh, I believe it's like six style tips for the fit man or something like that. I have it linked up here. But basically, it was really nice meeting him, and he's a really good guy, and I love collaborating with Ian. Next up on the list, number seven, I haven't gotten the chance to meet him in person, but he is the man, the myth, the legend, the tailoring god, Stylish D. I've been watching Stylish D for about two years now, and he releases a bunch of different tailoring videos. Uh, and what I think is great about that is I also love tailoring and releasing tailoring videos. And so he oftentimes makes really good videos that I relate to when I'm tailoring. Uh, he does a great job of showing you how to slim a t-shirt or how to you know, tailor pants. He just really does a great job with his content. His presentation is amazing. He and I have a lot in common as far as tailoring and the appreciation of doing it yourself. It is a great skill that I think a lot more guys should be into because it's a great way to save money. Fit is key and he shows you how to get the best fit, so I highly recommend that you check out Stylish D and his channel. Number eight, also another friend I met at Minfluential, Demetrius Levi. This guy has a really nice channel and the thing that really stands out to me is not so much the men's style content, but it is the way that he presents the information to the viewer. Demetrius is a fantastic storyteller, one of the best I've ever seen. Uh, with the camera and I really think that his work is amazing and that you should check out his channel. So the next channel on the list is not really a men's style channel, it's more of kind of a vlog channel, but it is started by Juan and Jose Zuniga and the channel is called The Zunigas. Everyone is super familiar with Jose and teaching men's fashion, but me personally, I prefer the Zuniga channel because it offers a behind the scenes look on how they run their different operations. And I just love following Thomas, Juan, Jose, and Maria. I think the channel is really interesting. It's really funny. Uh, it's kind of like an office format. It's like the office, the TV show, and uh, it's really entertaining. They buy a bunch of random cars and do a bunch of pranks and stuff on each other. And it's just really fun content. And I love watching it. And finally, he's not really a YouTuber, but more of like an Instagram guy. Uh, he is the principal of the Armory in Hong Kong, and his name is Mark Chow. Mark Chow offers a variety of content that is a little bit more high end. Some of the items that he talks about are a little bit more expensive, but I think he does a great job uh, with the design of those items. He puts together looks that he shows you on Instagram in a vertical format. And I think it's really interesting content and I really enjoy it. He also has a series called What I'm Wearing and Why. And I think that's amazing because uh, it kind of shows you like what he thinks about certain items and what he puts into uh, his wardrobe and the things that he thinks is nice. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I thought it'd be fun to do kind of a video uh, giving props to some of the guys that I look up to and that I think are very interesting with their content. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the like button. Also go ahead and subscribe and share. And with that being said, I'm Robert, this is Gent Style, and I will see you guys in the next video.